Where is Sir Les Patson? Don't ask me, Barry. I just work here. I would have thought you knew all about his after-hours activities. Wouldn't you like to know? Look, I've been up all night writing his bloody speech. He has to deliver it to the world in three and a half minutes. That old bastard doesn't front Australia's international credibility will be down the girdler. Oh, Your Excellency, thank goodness he is. Gives me speech, Bathur, gives me speech. Bless you. Oh, I reckon I have to study this one sitting down. He's already as drunk as a skunk. Well, we've got two minutes to sober him up. What do you got? Some food? Something solid? Uh, yeah. Please, we are very, very, very late, sir. Uh, we do have to no go. No worries. It's very important, No sir. worries. Yeah, there's high fibre in this. <laughs> What's the speech about, anyway, Al? Just to try and play it as, as suave and urbane as possible, Sir Les. Well, uh, wait. There are still quite a few people who don't know where Australia is. You get up. <laughs> oh, Rose Maria, I love you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> G'day. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen of the Assembly, uh, good morning to you. Hello, good afternoon, man. depending on what part of the world you come from. Around. Boy, it's like stepping into the pages of the National Geographic magazine being here today. It's beautiful. <laughs> Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Les Patterson. Sir Leslie Colin Patterson, at your service. And I have the honour to be, the, I have the honour to be uh, the Australian ambassador to this wonderful, wonderful organisation. And I, I've had a drink, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't be so foolish and hypocritical to suggest to you that I hadn't imbibed. Because I have. I've had a couple of drinks, as a matter of fact, but I've still got control of my faculties. They were still there when I looked at them last, anyway. But my country of Australia, I tell you what, I was an Australian. Australia's come a long way since my country was just a dumping ground for English convicts way back in the Middle Ages. A long, long way. We're the centre of refinement these days. Culture. We've got more culture than a penicillin factory, ladies and gentlemen. Got a mental picture of that? If you don't believe me, just think of our beautiful table wines, yachtsmen, operas, films, crocodiles, macrame, cheese. Look, I'm chairman of the, I'm chairman of the Australian Cheese Board, as a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen. Funnily enough, I was sitting on the cheese board earlier today, and that can be uncomfortable. Those little flags get up here. <laughs> what have you done, my career? You fed me the beans, pal. 